Puka, the engine quit and we're drifting onto the reef. Oh no. Drama. 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 Uh -oh. This is that reality TV show Brad was hoping for. <laughs> Our engine is still quit, we're just hoping we don't drift onto the reef, which Yeah, we're kinda heading towards the reef. <laughs>
This island is stunning. Apparently there's only like 400 people who live on it and the two outer islands on the other side are totally uninhabited and they go there as like their getaways from this main island. They have like massive gardens on them and, and if I had to choose an island to escape to, this might just be it. Apparently there's some pretty rich history behind this island. Um, still don't quite have the gist of what it is, but I'll learn more as I go. And I kind of just wandered off and I'm currently going to go on a little exploratory trip barefoot into the heart of Puka Puka. I got a really cool drone shot where I went all the way out, got the whole island and came all the way in. I'm pretty proud of that. Hopefully it turned out nice. So on the way back we had a bit of an engine problem and we ended up drifting safely outside of the channel next to the small reef break and drifted back to the quai, got the engine fixed and we were able to make it back in no problem. Uh, yeah, fortunately enough because if we got like washed up on that reef with all those full oil barrels, they were all untied so it would have been a disaster. There would be barrels getting smashed up by waves, people getting crushed by barrels. We really lucked out. Quite an array of events got us to my new accommodation here on Puka Puka. And uh, yeah, it's beachfront. The oceans are right there. And this place is adorable. It's apparently it's the only tourist accommodation on the island. Tourists never come here because you have to charter like a uh, 70 or like a $40,000 flight to get here or you can wait for like the once every seventh month Flight that comes here, but yeah, here it is uh, This is my new humble abode Stand here now Give you a quick little tour this room over in here Yeah Five-star accommodation here on Puka Puka and This is where I'm staying this is my room right here. Nice ocean breeze. It's pretty neat because no one really ever comes here who are tourists. So to be able to come here by ship, and it's really hard to get here by boat as well because there's no mooring, there's no anchorage. And we just have a special spot we tie up, tie up on the reef and uh, get shuttled in. So it's a Puka Puka is a really hard place to get to. And it's one of the most beautiful islands in the world. I mean, it's stunning here. Um, I'm gonna go for a little walk around. Anyways, I just kind of just started a journey walking down the road and ended up meeting this guy at the inter internet station who took me to the mayor. Got to meet the mayor. And then from there, the mayor took us to this lovely accommodation where I'll be staying for a night or two. Uh, apparently there's some event going on tonight where the kids will be dancing and singing and and so I get to film that but in the meantime I'm gonna show you this lovely beach There's like a little jetty over there extending out into the, the water. So I'm gonna wander out there and check it out and take you with me. So let's go. Come on. So this island is just ridiculously hard to get to. There's basically no tourism here whatsoever unless you're incredibly wealthy and can afford a $40,000 charter flight from Manahiki. So I'm so stoked to be able to have the opportunity to be here and you know what cooler of a way to get here than a sailing cargo ship of course it's probably one of the only ways you can get here especially for someone like me who has absolutely no money whatsoever just goes to show you can get places 
being a person, I guess. Uh, anyways, yeah, we're strolling down the beach right now and feeling like a castaway here on this beautiful remote island. Speaking of castaway, there's a thatched hut right there. Um, yeah, this is this is neat. I like this. This little jetty thing that juts out out in the, the ocean. I see a few traditional canoes hanging out here, so it must be a way to access the you know the outer ocean beyond the reef with the canoes. Maybe I don't know. I'm gonna walk down it. Well, this jetty turned out to be the most ridiculously slippery thing I've ever walked on. And I thought it was gonna be an easy stroll, but no. It's treacherous as all hell. Um, but yeah, I'm really getting out here, out to the ocean, I guess. And it's, it's quite the stunning view on all sides. I'm gonna do a 360 selfie. There we go. Hope you enjoyed that 360 selfie. And uh, here's the end of the jetty.